We headed about three hours south to Joplin. On the way into town, we didn't see any damage. When we got to church, we were amazed to see how they transformed it into a disaster relief area. Joplin Family Worship Center had only about 450 to 500 regular attenders, but they had enough of everything to help out so many other people. The tornado tore right through the middle of town, and about 10 families from this church had their homes destroyed. So we loaded up the supplies they provided and headed toward the disaster zone. From the road, we could see many businesses were ruined. Some were functioning, while others posted signs saying they would rebuild soon. You can see that in some cases, there was a distinct line between destruction and what seemed perfectly normal. Homes were the same, perfectly good, then more damage. One home, completely leveled, and then across the street, they just needed a new roof. We helped this family clean up this yard while they stripped to make a new roof. Some houses don't even have roofs anymore, while others still live in their homes. This, took, this house took most of its damage from flying debris. Chunks of shingles and wood studded the siding. Other homes were blown 8 to 10 feet off their foundation. It's amazing to think how people survived when all you can see is a basement. They say this family of five squished into this tiny 3x3 three three shelter. We cleaned up small stuff, but there are mountains still left to be moved. These dump trucks with cranes helped take piles that were 10 feet from the curb. There were hundreds of them all over Joplin, from FEMA I think, but still, at the rate they are moving, it will take another three months just to clear the town. There are just miles and miles of debris, completely flattened neighborhoods. Trees have nothing but trunks, main branches, and the occasional metal shading from who knows where. Joplin High School was hit, and the locals renamed it Hope High School. Hope is about the only thing left about this school. The tornado hit on Sunday, May 22nd, and this video was taken a month later, June 25th. These people are going to need more than hope. They are going to need family and the hands and feet of Jesus for months to come.